Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here and this is another open with me and this is for the latest Simply Crochet magazine uh, which has arrived today. So while I'm undoing this, which sometimes is difficult, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and well, hopefully you'll be informed when new videos pop up. So I wonder what we've got in here today. I can see it's something Christmassy. Okay, so we put that on the floor. Now we have the Simply Crochet magazine with this star jumper on the front. We've also got Tom Daly. Crochet chat with Tom Daly, obviously one of his creations there. Um, a snuggle up cozy slouchy cardigan. A, a very odd wreath. And a star cushion, a chunky blanket, Scandi decorations, advent calendars and more, um, and idiot mittens, as we used to call them when I was a child. Isn't it amazing, though, that most of us have been crocheting and knitting and stuff all our lives, and we never get anywhere. <laughs> and then you get Tom Daly, who just decides to knit at the side of the pool one day, and is splurged all over everywhere. Anyway, not that I'm bitter. We've got a Santa pug, and a super quick snowman sweater. Right, best hooky gifts revealed as well inside. And the gift is a sheepies yarn after party. So, is that pattern? It is. Let's put that to one side and we'll examine that after. Okay, so let's get in. Simply crochet. Is that, that's not what's in the supplement either, so... Holiday season is fast approaching, so we've collected all the hooky inspiration you'll need to make your Christmas as cheery as possible. This sweet Santa pug is a great place to start. Look inside to find more. Okay, don't really look much like a pug, but he does look like a Santa, so he's in disguise, obviously. Okay, contents pages. We've got the bits and pieces that were on the front, plus this very bright kind of Christmas tree, whatever that is. Mm. And a stocking, might be a gift bag, don't know. But none of this looks particularly Christmassy to me. Yes, it's a star. Yes, it's a um, stocking and a wreath, but that doesn't look remotely Christmassy in my opinion. But never mind. We've got yarn reviews. They've made a kind of present thingy with it. We've got uh, advent calendars. And we've got freebies, if you subscribe. That's a nice chunky um, blanket. Would that probably be a blanket? Looks knitted, but it isn't. Um, we've got more hats and mittens up the top there. Christmas tree decorations. We've got leg warmers. We've got star snowflakes, rather. Star flakes. And what they said before. Okay, that's just an advert. And so is that for Burn That. Okay, <laughs> in her honour. So this is um, to do with Her Majesty the Queen and her passing. And I don't know about you, where you live in the UK, if you're, if you're in the UK, I mean, a lot of you watch from overseas, but we get a lot of yarn bombing on our post boxes. And the, <laughs> the one, the post office that I've been going to recently has a lot of this sort of thing. Every now and then one will pop onto it. And I always would think, oh, I should take a picture. And I know I did at one point take some pictures, but I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, let's get in. We've got some books. What's this? Flower Babies. Uh, Amigurumi Flower Babies. And that is $7.99 by Bas Den Brava, which is actually quite a, a cheap one. But um, I don't know how many you get. 12. 12. For seven ninety nine, and we've got Celine Seman and Shana Moore, nine ninety nine at three D gran animal granny squares. I was gonna say granimal. I've made a new word. Wow, granimal. One hour amigurumi, seventeen ninety nine by Melanie Morisha. Who? M Morita who? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry if that's you. Not that she'd be watching me, but never mind. Yarn Spinning with a Modern Twist by Vanessa Kroening at 14 99 If you're interested in modern 
spinning. Okay, so that's the books. And what's, let's have a look. Loads and loads of little editorial bits and bobs. Five fab finds, Father Christmas cushions, but they are all things you've got to buy, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll move on. Neon Navidad. So, I don't know about you, but I like my tra traditional Christmassy stuff. I'm not really into neon Christmas. It doesn't look Christmassy at all. Not to me, but I know there are people who are going to love it. Shout from the rooftop. Christmas is coming. Make sure your decor pops this year with these fab fluorescent makes. Um, I can only say no. I won't be. But, you know, not, not to say that there aren't people who are going to love them. Just, I don't. I think Christmas is Christmas, you know. Proper Christmas decorations. Proper festive looking. Not summery. It's all right if you live in Australia where Christmas is very, very sunny. You might want that. Star Power. Keep Christmas exciting with this bold jumper by Bowie and George. Well, that's different, isn't it? It's got very baggy sleeves. I'm not always keen on baggy sleeves. But this goes in size 8 to 10 to a 20 to 22. And that is UK sizes. So that's quite big. I would say that's a small um, or even an extra small. Uh, no, that's small, medium, large, extra large. But I don't know, maybe even bigger. 20 to 22, what would you say that is? Merry Woofmas. Here we go. We've got this cute pug, Father Christmas. And the, oh, yeah, he's, he's cute without his suit. Oh, he looks better without a suit. But you can make him a little suit if you want to. Um, there's the freebies. If you subscribe, worth over £64. If you fancy it. Becca's Journal, never read that. Um, or digital tips. What else do we got in here, apart from adverts? Snow days. Uh, turn a plain jumper into an expressive snowman with a few applique accents designed by Natalie Beard. That's kind of cool. On the other page, it's just adverts, so that's why I've not shown it to you, just stuff. That's the rest of it. Okay, so this is the Have a Ball Full of bobbles in a diamond shape pattern and trimmed with loops. This Cardi by Rowan is pure joy. It's got very baggy sleeves though. Very, very baggy sleeves. So I can't really, I can't really wear that. I don't, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Now this is the one I said looks knitted. And it's because it's got a lot of um, sort of ribbon stitch as I like to call it. But it's, I think it's front post. Um, just front posts here, front posts around there, all the stitches. The kind of similar thing that I made my phone case. But they just made squares with it, which makes it very chunky. But the other side will be ribby, like ridges. Won't look right. Mini me mittens? Why are they called mini me? I don't know. Keep tiny fingers toasty inside these mitts by Vita Apala. And then we've got Hook to Hook. This is the Advent calendars. Are these little pots, do you think? Um, don't know. Or is it just, I don't know what it'll be. Or maybe they're little envelopes. You put things in. Don't know. Don't rightly know. They're little pots. How cool are they? They're cute, little pots. Anyway, that's those. And you do it as a... I don't know if I, bet I like the twig, but... I suppose it's making use of something that's free. Make Christmas your own with Gathered. Um, home of the knitter, simply knitting and simply crochet. So what's this? Ah, oh, is it one of those, one of those clubs? A lot of them are doing that now, aren't they? Subscription clubs and boxes. Yes, indeed. Not sure that I would ever subscribe to those though. H Himali Heaven. I don't know what that says. Real Nordic Decor. Finnish designer. I was going to say Finnish, as in finished. Finnish designer Tula Kurola 
shares a traditional Christmas decoration from her home country. That's an odd one, isn't it? It's kind of a cube, like a filigree cube. Hmm. It says, welcome to our heritage make section where designers create projects inspired by their home countries or cultures. For this issue, Finnish designer Tula Karula has created a traditional himmel decoration and shared a bit about its history. The himmel is a traditional Christmas and winter decoration and large, often elaborate himmels are hung from ceilings in Finland, Sweden and some Eastern European countries. In the past, it was believed that himmels brought luck for the next harvest. They're traditionally made out of straw and often assembled in saunas because the humid air makes the straw less brittle. In recent years, himmels have also been made out of new materials like drinking straws and glass pipes. I made my first himmel when I was about 10. Even now, looking at one reminds me of the calm and quiet feeling of the Christmas season in Finland. So, that's what a himmel is. Or a himmelie. Himmelie? Himmelie. No, I don't know. I thought it said himmel, but I'm all wrong. Oh, my goodness. Wabby Sabby hat. Wabby Sabby hat and mitts. Natural beauty. Sandra Gutierrez hat and mitten set is meant to call forth thoughts of rippling streams and growing leaves. Okay. And there we go. That's on the inside. And there's the hat. So we've got five questions with Tom Daly. Okay. Rightio. I won't read it all out. Gift subscriptions from twenty three ninety nine. Snow shine. So this is the um what I thought was a star, but obviously it's a snow like. Honestly, and we've got dying all about dying. Meet an indie dyer. And we've got the stretcher legs with these uh, leg warmers. I have a pair of leg warmers on my channel, you know. If you haven't seen them, kind of cool. All dressed up, so we've got a tree skirt. And that looks quite simple. Um, it's made with just row after row by the looks of it, of one stitch and joined triangles around this tree. Wool yarns. So we're looking at the different wool yarns and they're showing you how to make the present with them. So you've got cashmere merino silk which is a DK and it's 5 99 for 50 gram balls. That's this one up top. And that made this one here. It's quite nicely made up though. Stitch and Story, the little merino, which is this one, £4.50 for a 50 gram ball. So that's obviously this one. Again, it was quite neat made up. James C. Brett Rustic Chunky, which is this one, 3 89 will give you a 100 gram ball. Um, possibly not lending itself well this variegated john to a christmas um present design but you know it's probably makes other things really well now this one is arley quinn <laughs> without the h arley quinn chunky 100 gram ball is 8.95 and that's the burger de france nice though nice colors i want to say burger when i see that now this one looks itchy to me but it probably is okay it's alpaca so it won't be and polyamide it is drops sky 150 grams will get you um four pounds 90 which is very good value for a change snowstorm is your purple one it's a chunky it's a 50 gram ball and it is from hobby and it's 3.95 for a 50 gram ball i'm not very impressed with that that's, um, it, although it looks nice, it's rather expensive for a, just a plain chunky yarn. Made of 100% uh, wool. Show us yours. So lots of readers' makes and bits and bobs. Um, and an advert for that company. We've got bullet, cake, donut or skein. Brush up on your technique with our simple guide. I can hear Gary with a tape measure out there. So I think it's all a bit of a personal preference, whether you like a bullet, which I've never heard it called that. I would have called it a ball. But, oh, bullet is this one. So what's that? Just a round round yarn. 
Ball. Why don't they just call it a ball? That's what it looks like. Cake, here we all know what they are. Donuts, they're okay, but they tend to unravel. And it's hard to read this, which does annoy me sometimes. And Twisted Skins and Hanks. Okay, not going to read all that, though. Next time, we've got like a granny stitch cardigan that's made like diamonds. We've got loads of fairies. Loads of fairies. And we've got Tom Daly's shopping tote. String of mistletoe, festive hat, Christmas tree jumper, amigurumi echin, e echidna, echidna, an echidna. Right, okay. I'm not, obviously not used to that word. Diamond pattern, cardigan, and fun upcycling Christmas collection. Then we've got the usual bits and bobs that show you how to do this, that, and the other. Uh, looking for a good yarn? Visit our website. No, visit mine. Get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> if you want to visit mine, it's www.hobbybox.co.uk. Lots and lots of offers going at the moment. Um, all of my previous yarn of the weeks are still on offer. I have 20% off with the code Step Into Christmas, which you can find just underneath the video and a link to the site. So we've got the charts and the diagrams. So if you wanted to use them for other things, easily transferable, which is one thing I like them to do it for. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Sheepies Yarn the After Party Cup of Mr. and Mrs. Claws. So these are cups. Okay, not that you can use them unless you're quite clever and you can make a cup cosy out of this pattern. But there's a Mr. and a Mrs. Claus and that's what they look like. Aren't they cute? I like a little specks. So tell me, is there anything in this that grabs you this time? Anything that floats your boat? What do you think of neon Christmas? I don't mean to influence you in any way, but you all know my feelings. It's not, it's not right. It's not Christmas to me. This is Christmas and and holly and fir trees and Christmas crackers and nutcracker and all those things. Those are tinsel, Christmassy, not neon balls. And I just can't, I can't get my head around it really. But, you know, some of you might say, I love that. That is so new, modern, it's right up my street. Some of you might say, oh my God, that's awful. But, you know, let me know what you think in the uh, comment section. And uh, that's this one. Um, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now then.